Alrighty, what's going on everybody? My name is Blitzwing Iron Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare figure set review. This was once again sent to me by the lovely folks at Diamond Select Toys, so you can always, of course, visit DiamondSelectToys.com for plenty more information about the entire lineup of Garden Warfare figures that they have done so far. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Marine Biologist Zombie plus the Toxic Pete, which are very, very, very cool characters, of course. And we've already taken a look at some of the previous characters that they've released. So these are characters that they released actually last year, which were the initial release wave of characters, which was like the All-Star versus Shadow Flower. I did reviews for all of these as well. Foot Soldier versus the Camo Cactus, uh, Engineer Zombie and the Chomper, and then of course the Scientist Zombie versus the Gatling P. And now we're getting the next release wave of characters, which includes the All-Star Zombie with... Uh, Imp Punt versus the Shadow Flower with Heal Flower. That sounds cool, actually. That sounds like a really cool two-pack, to be honest. Uh, and then there's also full, uh, Foot Soldier Zombie with Super Commando Head. Plus, uh, it does take on the Camo Cactus with the Potato Mine. So that's kind of cool. And additionally to that, of course, we can see some of the other variations that they have in terms of the way that they package up the figures right here over on this side. Plus the Deluxe Yeti figure, which looks insanely cool indeed. So uh, what else is in this wave particularly? particularly uh, for Garden Warfare. Well, we've already taken a look at the Goalie Star right up here and versus the Sunflower. We're taking a look at the Marine Biologist along with the Toxic P today. And then after that, we're going to be taking a look at uh, the accessory pack number one with the Toxic Chomper. We'll look at that tomorrow. And then the day after, which will be also the release date for Garden Warfare 2, we're going to be taking a look at the Welder Zombie along with the accessory pack number two. So, with that in mind, let's go on ahead and open the package, take a look at the lovely goodies inside. It's a very simple package, but I like it because it works both for people who want to keep their stuff in box. So if you're like an inbox collector, you can totally hang this up on the wall. It looks great. You can see the figure from every which way, so you get a good idea of what it looks like. But if you're a collector like myself and you open up your stuff and you put it on display and everything, it's very, very convenient to just get this package open, rip it up, and get to the lovely goodies inside. So let's do this thing. Let's open it up and take a look at the figurines inside. Alrighty, guys. So here we are with the marine biologist zombie as well as the toxic pee out of packaging. Let's kick things off with the plant side of things as we had before. So here's the Toxic P, which looks very, 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 very cool. I love the way that they managed to not only get the design uh, together and kind of obviously make it look correct and everything, but what I really, really, really love that they pulled off with the design is the attitude of the Toxic P. Like you could see the almost the personality with the way they did the leaf eyebrows and everything and this stern look in the eyes. It just works really, really well and effectively Plus, the other thing that I was very impressed with uh, for this particular figure is the range of articulation that is here. So, for example, the head has a really, really nice ball joint that allows you to look way up and way down, which is really cool. So, you can get some really nice poses against your zombie characters with your plant characters. So, that should work really, really nicely. And then on top of that, right here, there's actually a ball joint that is right there in the shoulder uh, I guess, of the pea shooter, if you could call it that, whatever this part is in peas. Uh, so that moves very, very well and has a really decent range as well. So you can even like cross the arms in the front and or have them brought all the way to the back just like so. So that was just really, really nice attention to detail in terms of the articulation side of things as well. There is no other articulation other than those three specific points, but you really wouldn't need it anywhere else. I think they did an overall decent job with all the paint job uh, on the actual plant. I kind of wish that they would have had a bit more of this kind of shading going on into the bottom half of the figure as well because it feels like the tones of green are kind of uniformly the same. So that's the only thing I would change uh, about that side of things. Other than that, I think it looks very, very well done and looks quite cool and has a really, really nice clean paint job overall. So then let's get into the zombie side of things. So here is our marine by you'll notice that this figure comes with two different stands, one for the uh, gun here right here itself for the blaster, for the dolphin blaster, in order to have it uh, basically just staying upright. He can hold it and stay upright without it as well, but the gun is going to be pointing downwards, so that's a bit of an unfortunate thing. You can kind of have it pointing upwards like this, but then his arm looks goofy and weird, but again, Garden Warfare is goofy and weird, so this kind of works in that regard. Now, uh, unfortunately though for him, unless if you have this stand in, he's going to topple over. He falls over quite easily without the stand. I'm going to try to get it off there. And 
Well, now he's standing, which is kind of surprising. Uh, so he does stand, but he will topple over at the right. Like, let's say if, if you put this on display and you bump into the actual display or something, he will topple over simply because he has this ginormous backpack on his back and the gun is pretty heavy as well. So he, all, he will either topple forwards or more likely backwards. Now, luckily they thought of that and they included this awesome, simple, simple little solution in the form of a stand that keeps him upright perfectly. And I could shake this table all at one, hit right next to it and he's staying there, which is fantastic. Awesome that they thought of that. And I love that little extra little detail there. Plus, to be honest, I really like the little extra display piece for the uh, blaster as well because it allows you to get a more unique look going and it just looks better overall the way that it stands. And because they're translucent at a long range, you wouldn't even notice that they're there. Obviously, you'd probably notice this one, but it's not that bad and I think that overall it looks pretty good. Now, uh, let's talk about the actual figurine itself. I think that they did a very, very good job on the zombie itself. Uh, I love the amount of detailed sculpt work that they did, specifically like the glasses are sculpted. This little piece right here is sculpted. The actual strip around his head, around the snorkeling gear, sculpted. The snorkeling gear, it is a sculpted piece. There's so much sculpted work that they did. The rope right here wrapping around, the tiny little buttons being sculpted. Like it's a really, 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 really good job in terms of the amount of details that they managed to get into this thing. The one thing I will say is a little bit off is I wonder if these glasses are supposed to be translucent loosen instead of this zombie green. I don't remember specifically in the game how it is, but I think that it wasn't that way. I think these are supposed to be like glasses instead of just like reflecting um, the zombie skin, but maybe that's what they were going for is the reflection of the skin being there anyway. So that might have been the reason why that looks the way that it does. Other than that, I think they nailed everything about this guy. I love the little hair sticking out and everything, and he looks fantastic. Now, speaking of looking fantastic, so far, I think they've been knocking it out of the park with all of the weapons that they've done for this series too. I mean, the goalie star had an amazingly cool weapon and this is no different. This thing looks so cool. You got the triple Z's up top there and the dolphin itself and uh, just all the little details they have throughout this little thing just looks so, so well done. And I love how haphazardly put together this whole thing is like you could see that the zombies kind of know what they're doing, but not really. And they managed to come up with this wacky and crazy, crazy invention. So with that in mind, there you guys have it. That concludes the review here for today for the Marine Biologist and the Toxic P2 pack from Diamond Select Toys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like. That would be highly appreciated. And I hope to see all of you lovely folks here next time as we continue our countdown towards Garden Warfare 2 day. And tomorrow we're going to be taking a look at that first accessory pack, which is going to be pretty awesome because it comes with the toxic chomper. So we'll get, another, we'll get to add another chomper to our uh, plants army. Plus the day after that, of course, on the release date for Garden Warfare 2, we are going to be taking a look at accessory pack number two along with the welder zombie. As always, guys, have an absolutely fanful, fantastic day. I hope to see you guys here for the next few videos and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, alligators. Bye-bye, everyone.